Hey guys, so we're out here again in the beautiful Pacific Northwest with another gear review. Today we'll be looking at Prometheus Design Works Defiant Hoodie. So this particular garment you'll see right now is uh, in the rogue green color. Uh, it's a unique color that uh, looks green in certain lightings and uh, gray in other lightings and it's a subtle color and uh, it's kind of unique. It's not really a color that you would see in a lot of garments, so I do get a lot of uh, comments about, about the color uh, from people. All right, so let's talk about uh, the main thing that makes the Defiant hoodie, which is the fabric that it's made out of. So the fabric is called Sea Change, and it's made by a Swiss uh, textile manufacturer called Scholler. They've been in business for about uh, 70 or so years, and a, a bunch of other uh, garments out there use their technologies. So Sea Change is a breathable fabric. It's a four-way stretch fabric, and it's um, it biomimics the pine cone in that um, it's designed to react to um, varying temperatures by opening and closing. So in, in the case of the sea change fabric, which is a poreless membrane, it has these we it's constructed out of uh, it consists of weaves that so as the temperature drops, the fabric will basically contract. The, the weave contracts, tightening up those spaces. And as the temperatures rise, the weave expands, allowing more um, inner vapor to um, be expelled to the, to the face fabric so, so that it can evaporate, but not so much so that water is able to penetrate the garment. Because of this, these properties, it allows it to be extremely adaptable to a variety of different temperatures. So this jacket is a uh, designed as a, a four season jacket that can be worn as a standalone garment or with other insulating layers. And then if the, the garment is still feeling, um, it's, you're still feeling um, like you need a little bit more ventilation, perhaps if you're hiking in, in higher temperatures, they do have these pit zips that allow you to further regulate the, the inner climate of your jacket. So I would suggest that you look at uh, look up Sea Change um, on uh, their website or um, just on various testing um, and you'll see really how amazing this technology is. I won't bother going into it too much because there is quite a bit of resources about it online and uh, can explain far better than I can. All right, so let's go through the features of the jacket. Um, so the front has the, the front zips, which uh, is a two-way zip. So you can open it from the bottom, which allows you to have access to any belt-worn um, items that you might have while keeping your, the rest of your body protected from rain or snow and things like that. Um, on each side here we have uh, two large chest pockets, each with a dummy, dummy cord D-ring to be able to attach any kind of uh, small items you might have that you don't want to fall out. Um, you can attach them to lanyards and things like that. So that is mirrored on both sides. On the biceps we have these uh, pockets right here. Again, they have a uh, gear keeper in there. I like to use this for small flat items like my field notes. Those in there. You can put your passport in there when you're traveling. Any, any similar sized items would be great in there. Um, on the left side uh, chest area, we have a small Napoleon sized pocket right here. And it does also feature a uh, media pass-through port. And what I like to use that for is uh, to keep my power bank in there um, and then charge my phone uh, with while keeping my power bank warm and close to my body. All right, so the, the profile of the the jacket is, is pretty standard. Um, it has a small one-inch um, drop back hem, 
not as aggressive as other outdoor specific garments. And the reason for that is that the jacket is designed with more of an urban um, fit. So the fit overall is, is more for the urban uh, dweller and uh, it's not meant to look super aggressively outdoor. Um, so you can wear it in a lot more uh, situations such as uh, wearing it over your, your dress shirt um, as a spring jacket or just something to keep the, the weather off of you uh, while not looking too much too outdoorsy. Um, they also have a, these unique things that I have never really um, had in any garment that I've had before which is these co cohesive um, cord management systems uh, that are laminated into the jacket itself um, and this allows you to uh, have more tactile feel when you're uh, trying to adjust your jacket while you're wearing gloves or during inclement weather you can feel these these adjustment um, uh, systems easily um, regardless of the weather conditions uh, it's also been shown to uh, grip to grip onto the uh, bungees even when they're frozen um, much better that compared to traditional other um, other traditional methods that have been used for adjustments um, on the inside of the hood we have these adjustments uh, cords right here which you can pull to cinch up the opening around your face for the hood and then you would just press the the cohesive um, tabs here which would retract the the which would release the the tension on the bungees um, to open up the hood again uh, the hood itself is a three three paneled hood it's got a brushed tricot lining on the inside and uh, feels really nice particularly when the weather is cold you don't want any of that cold material on your face So with the hood cinched up, it moves nicely with your head. The brim goes far enough forward and it's stiff enough that it protects your face from any wind and rain, but not enough so that it, it uh, interferes with your vision. On the back here, you'll have another adjustment, which adjusts the forward orientation of your hood. When not in use, the hood acts as sort of a high back collar that protects the back of your head and neck from, from wind, which is a really nice feature. The, the cord adjustment cords are tucked in inside the collar so that they're not in the way and uh, just keeps everything nice and neat. Uh, the, the cuffs are a bias cut, which means that it hugs your wrist and your hand that much nicer and adds a bit of a refinement to this to the overall design. It uh, has these Hyphalon or CSPE cuff tabs. CSPE is uh, typically uh, recognizable from uh, marine um, marine applications such as zodiacs and and uh, that sort of thing and it's very well known for for being very durable and resistant to heat compared to other um, garments that may fit a bit baggier this is uh, in comparison a little bit more fitted so i thought i'd do a short segment in this video just to demonstrate what i'm talking about when it comes to the size and fit of the Defiant uh, hoodie. So I'm 5'7", I'm between 180 to 185 pounds. I normally wear um, size medium in almost every jacket, uh, hoodie, um, and even t-shirts. So this is a size medium Defiant hoodie, okay? So just note that under this, um, I'm wearing just the level, uh, the R3 Patagonia fleece um, jacket. Um, and it's, so it's not 
as thick as say the beast hoodie um, but it is uh, thicker than say um, the DA hoodie I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath that and uh, as you can see it fits perfectly uh, I don't have any of the the cinch cords uh, tightened up I have the, the cuffs loose right now so it's just freely hanging there as you can see it's it's a great great fit okay i'm gonna throw on the large seat the arms are a bit long on me again this is not cinched up in any way so the body actually fits fits okay if you like it to be a little bit more roomy you could get away with it you could cinch up the cuff tabs a little bit uh, to bring up the, the sleeves so that actually works pretty good um, definitely if you're going to be layering the defiant over say a stratus hoodie or um, anything thicker than that i would definitely recommend going a size up but if you're going to be wearing it primarily with um, thinly insulated layers such as uh, the um, a light fleece or something like that or just a, a t-shirt and uh, long sleeves or something like that then uh, going with the size that you would normally wear would be just fine in an urban setting say day to day when you're wearing it with your um, maybe over your uh, your dress shirt or dress pants you don't look too um, out of place too outdoorsy all the time so I think it, you can use it in a wider range of uh, settings because of, because of this. Um, ev almost everything on the Defiant is um, color matched for a monochromatic uniform look, except for a few details such as the bungee cords and the, uh, the um, dummy, dummy cord d-ring keepers they're all orange which adds just a bit of uh, an eye-catching um, detail to the jacket that gives it kind of that refined look i usually conduct a test where i put the the jacket i select a, uh, an area of the jacket that has no seams and i put it over a cup or a glass and i pour some water in it and let it pool on there and i basically see how long it takes for any water penetrate the, uh, the the fabric and I tested this recently and uh, after 20 hours of it sitting there I didn't notice any kind of um, saturation uh, I didn't notice any water get through to the other side I even massaged the the fabric a little bit to kind of um, simulate what it would be like if you had it under a backpack or something like that and definitely no water got through well guys, I think that's about it. Um, hope you found this uh, review somewhat informative. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to find the answers for you. Um, if there are any products that you'd like to see us review on our channel in the future, do let us know that as well. If, there are any, um, if there's anything that you think that we could do to improve um, our videos let us know that and uh, do consider giving us a like and subscribe as it would really help us out so um, that's it for now guys and uh, yeah we'll see you outside